Hey guys, welcome back to another TFT video and I'm going to be talking about patch 9.15b which should be hitting live in a matter of hours. And these are currently the most updated changes in the PvE server. So I believe all of these changes that I'll be talking about in this video will be in fact in the new patch that is going to be coming out live today. Elise will be getting an attack damage boost from 40 to 45 attack. And that's just going to give her a little bit of the early game power that she kind of needed. But aside from that, she's still the same old Elise. Twisted Fate should be also getting a minor buff in this patch. Probably like a minor attack damage increase like Elise. But it's not really shown in the PvE server. Vigar's primordial burst damage was increased at 2 and 3 stars from 500 to 550 damage at 2 star and at 3 stars it will be at 700 to 800 damage so there was a significant increase to his primordial burst. Rengar got a nerf on his attack speed scaling on his skill his ability and basically it went down in percentage from 0 0.4 to 0 0.3 at 1 stars, 0 0.7 to 0.5 at 2 stars, and 1.0 to 0 0.7 at 3 stars. So at 2 and 3 stars, his attack speed scaling actually went down quite a bit. So Rengar should definitely be seeing a lower um, usage with this nerf. He'll still be strong, but he won't be as strong as he used to be. Kale also got a minor nerf. She's another must pick champion in the current meta and she definitely needed one. Her mana increased from 100 to 125 for her intervention skill. Everything stays the same, but she just got a mana increase. Now, if you give her mana items still, she's still going to be able to use her intervention a lot. And Kale at two stars is still extremely deadly. So this is a minor nerf. Uh, we'll have to see just how much this impacts Kale, but let's see what happens in the next couple of days. And finally, right now, the most busted champion that just goes with any comp right now, a must pick, is Karthus. That's right. I'm so glad to see Karthus getting a nerf. And basically, Karthus um, is getting a nerf in two ways, the number of champions he hits. So uh, from at one stars, he's still hitting five champions, but at two stars, he will no longer be hitting nine champions, which was ridiculous, which is basically hitting everybody on the board because there are very, very rare instances where you actually get to nine champions. He'll be going from hitting nine to seven champions at two stars, and then from 13 champions at three stars to nine champions. So he got a nerf in the number of champions he'll be hitting from two to three stars, and damage as well. Um, his one star damage, which was at 400, goes down to 350 now, and at two stars, his 700 ult damage will go down to 600 and at three stars it will go from 1000 to 850 now we rarely get to ever build three star um five gold costing champions so you know the three the three star part doesn't even really matter but he definitely got hit uh with some big nerfs here in terms of the champions he, he is able to hit and also the amount of damage he does but regardless sorcerer comps are still pretty good they're still busted and i think sorcerers will still see a strong push in this next current patch because karthus is still pretty good i think in terms of the damage he's still hitting five guys and if you have the phantom bonus you're knocking someone out and sorcerers in general general can stack mana much more quickly and they get to um go up to plus 100 percent ability power damage when you got six so they're still going to be pretty strong karthus is going to be strong as well but he definitely needed a nerf he was the most busted unfair champion as of now in the current 9.15 meta. Speaking of demons, demons got a radical change on the PvE server. This may be coming out on 9.15b, I'm not exactly sure. But basically, demons now, straight off the bat, will always have 40% chance to mana burn as soon as you have two on the board. And when you burn mana, it's only just 30 mana. You're not banning the burning the whole mana of the opponent champion. You're just banning 30 mana. And every time they burn, they gain 15 uh, 30 and up to 45 mana when you have six demons on the board uh, on hit um, every time they burn 30 mana off your opponents so 40 percent chance to mana burn um, up to 30 mana per uh, mana burn and they'll get up to 45 mana in return at six demons on the board so you know this is a nice tweak that riot did because i think demons will have a bit more playability i think this is better than the current state of the demons where they got absolutely obliterated by the nerfs um, but we'll have to see if this actually comes to 9.15b or this is going to come out in the next 9.16 patch let's see what happens and let's see exactly how strong demons will be in the new meta the final champion to get a nerf is Pike, 
And a Pike just got a slightly lower stun duration because Pike um, early game is absolutely busted. His undertow just stunning everybody is always good in any comps. You didn't need to go assassins. You can go any comp and you can have a one or even a two two star Pike is really really good. Um, and he'd just be stunning a lot. So his stun duration went down to 1.5 at two one star and 2.0 um, at two stars and at three stars to 2.5 seconds. So it was a small nerf, and I think he did need it, need it because he is still really strong um, with that undertow mass stun. And I think even with a slight nerf, it's not really huge change. He's still gonna be quite playable in the current meta. Now let's talk about items, and I'm not sure if these item changes will come to 9.15b, but I think it is most likely we'll be seeing it. And the first one is Sword of Divine Critical uh, Chance um, per second. It went up from 5% to 7%, and 7% is quite of an increase. It's almost 10% now, where you can critically strike for 100% more damage. Um, I think Sword of Divine will definitely see more playability after this because it's certainly one of the worst items in the game as of now. I think 7% is pretty good. Bumping it up to 10% may um, be a little bit too strong, so I'm glad that Riot decided to just notch it up a little bit up to 7%. The Gwinsu's Rageblade also got a buff from 4% 4, 4 attack speed on hit to 5% attack speed. So um, right now Gwinsu's Rageblade once again is not in a good spot. It's not a good standalone item. There's other items you can build. Um, so seeing this 1% increase to its attack speed, um, we'll have to see just how strong it can be. Once again, you don't want to give it too much attack speed because something like Gwinsu's can be busted. Of course, the attack speeds um, stacks infinitely so we have to watch out for that but let's see if it's going to be a bit more playable with the five percent um, increase with the one percent increase hush silence duration went up from three seconds to four seconds so it was at five seconds um, and they got a nerf to three seconds and now it's up by four seconds so um, i think the item is going to be a bit uh better because I think three seconds was a little bit too short for its uh, usability. So I think four seconds may be the sweet spot for this item. The Runon's Hurricane got a solid buff. Uh, they got an attack increase from 25% uh, on hit to 75% damage. So there's a 50% damage increase right there. And that means your second spirit um, that's attacking is going to do almost the same amount of damage as you, which is going to be pretty good. I think Runon's Hurricane was already good, and this might make the item very good. Um, and I think Runon's Hurricane is very good on certain champions. It doesn't work with every comp. It really works well with on-hit um, procs, on-hit activations, on-hit items, because the Runon's um, Hurricane gives you that secondary effect where you can actually activate your cursed blade or you can activate your hush or whatever but now you're getting also a damage increase which i don't think was too necessary because runa's hurricane you would only build in these situational comps anyways and to give it more of a boost uh, may make this weapon even more deadly so we'll have to see exactly how much of a power creep this runa's new runa's hurricane will get i'm a little bit afraid but we'll take a we'll see um, how the meta goes and once the meta settles a bit we'll know whether it's going to be too strong or in the right spot locket of the iron solari got um, the increase on the shield duration from from four seconds to six seconds yeah uh, right now locket is absolutely terrible because four seconds and the shield goes away pretty much means it does nothing um, if you put it on the very front line it may it will last for four seconds and your opponents will hit those frontline champions but if the shield doesn't get all used it will still disappear after four seconds and four seconds is really short so i'm glad to see this two second increased duration on the locket um, and i think making the locket's shield not not permanently staying on the board for like the whole battle is actually um, a good thing. So I'm glad that Riot did actually nerf it down, but they nerfed it a little bit too hard because Locket was absolutely terrible in 9.15. But in this new 9.15b, um, if the Locket does get up to a six second duration, um, it's gonna definitely be a bit more usable with the shields lasting a little bit longer. So it actually does something during the battle. Now for the item nerfs, the first one we have is Guardian Angel. So Guardian Angel right now is so good that everyone just builds it because it gives you a second life and it gives you up to a thousand health. So um, our Guardian Angel, I think they need a little bit of nerf to be honest. And I think this is a pretty good nerf. So the, the health that you regain when you come back to life um, is reduced now to 800 health points. Um, so that makes it still usable, uh, but it's not gonna be as strong um if your champion's at two star because your champion at two star is most likely going to have more than a thousand health 
but if it's a weaker champion, it's still gonna be under a thousand. So it's still pretty much the same thing. I think Guardian Angel is still pretty much the same. And having this a little bit of a nerf, I think was good because right now Guardian Angel is pretty busted. Um, just making a champion come back to life and then you know, having that champion ult a second time or a third time is just very good on certain carries, of course. Morello's also is a little bit too strong right now, absolutely staple, and that's why it's making Sorcerer comps busted also with this item is um, the burn damage ratio, 25%. Um, it's a little bit too high, so Riot has bumped it down to 20%. Once again, these changes may not come to 9.15 beat, but there is a chance they may be. So that's why I'm just letting you guys know that Morello's burn damage did go down to 20%. I think this is pretty fair. They could even bump it down to 15% because honestly, I think 20% is still pretty damn high. Um, it's higher than the red buff. Red buff is at around 13%, I think. So, I mean, 20% is pretty high. I think Morello's is still gonna be very, very strong, especially in Sorcerer and Elementalist comps. So once again, we'll have to see if this comes out in 9.15b and if it, if it actually changes anything. Ionic Spark got a damage reduction as well. And I think this is still something uh, we needed to do because Ionic Spark is still very, very good. So Ionic Spark's, um, uh, damage went down from 150 to 125 in the PB server. Honestly, they could even bring down the 150 to 100, which is what it was at originally, because I think even at 100 true damage is still pretty strong. Um, you know, you're still doing a lot of damage on the board and it's a very strong early to mid game item that can really help you win some games. Um, so, I mean, at 125, I think it sounds about right, but it could even be brought down to 100, to be honest. It's still a very, very good item, and I'm glad to see the nerf on the Ionic Spark. One item I forgot to mention about the item buffs is Redemption. So Redemption now um, gets a heal from 1,000 to 1,500. So now um, you'll be healing an extra 500 hit points with Re Redemption because Redemption is still kind of a very RNG item. I think it's, it's very good on certain comps. Um, but it's very RNG. Um, so once again, you're really relying on the redemption proc to work when you still have most champions alive on the board. They're low on health, and that one champion that's holding a redemption activates it before everyone else dies. So if it works, it's really good because you get a second life for everybody that's in that circle, but it's still very RNG based. So um, it got another increase, another buff on how much you can heal with it. So there you go, guys. These are all the changes currently in the live PB server. Um, the item changes may not take an effect in the 9.15b, but I believe they will. They usually add item changes with uh, champion changes as well. Um, so this is currently what we have, and this is probably what we'll be seeing today in the, in the later part of the day. So there you go, guys. There's some big changes, and the big boys like Karthus, Rangar, and Kale. Uh, well, she's a big girl, but um, you know they got some nerfs, so it was good. Especially Karthus. Karthus, I absolutely hated playing against. I think everyone hated playing against Karthus. Um, so I'm very, very glad to see Karthus getting a pretty big hit here as well. So anyways, what do you guys think about this new patch? I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.